I did this thing called deep canvassing yesterday for the first time. Like it was all about like, how do you engage with people who may like feel completely opposite from you and actually like kind of move the conversation. Um, and it really worked like the one t I only got to talk to one person this way um, over like a two hour shift. And that was the most demoralizing thing was just getting hung up on the rest of the time. <laughs> um, but the one time I talked to somebody, it made a difference and it moved them from feeling more like they might vote for Biden, which was pretty amazing. It's a really cool technique. And I feel like it's not just a technique that's like manipulative. It's about being authentic and like connecting with someone. And because apparently the whole idea is rooted in like people don't make decisions like this based on logic and facts and like especially logic and facts shared by people who disagree with them they make it based on an emotional connection and like their sense of identity and like who who they want to be and the more that this conversation kind of centers and gives them space to kind of explore who they want to be in this moment like just the more is possible and it was it was really cool to see that in action so yeah, if um, anyone else is interested in getting involved in deep canvassing, I know it's like scarier in some ways, certainly for me, than writing letters. Um, I'm totally happy to talk about it from my one limited experience. Um, what's pretty cool is that even if you like are hesitant about phone banking in general, um, one really interesting statistic I saw is that this is being run by a group that is taking something an approach that was used for other kinds of discussions to move people on political issues, but they never tried it for a presidential election before. And so they ran an experiment earlier this year and found that this approach is approximately a hundred times more effective in changing people's minds and getting them to vote um, in the direction that you hope they will um, than the traditional phone banking, uh, text banking methods. And the main reason being that you ask a lot of questions and you do a lot of listening. And basically, I think it feels like you give them space to change their mind um, rather than just saying like, hey, I want you to do the thing because I have some arguments and I have some facts and I have some like, reasons why you should do it. You just ask a lot about like, what do you care about? Why, why are you currently thinking the way you're thinking? And like, are there other things that you're concerned about or trying to figure out? And you know, maybe I can create a safe space for you to explore that. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting and pretty powerful. And what resonated with me is that it's not just for this election, it's actually to start to heal our ability to like have conversations. Basically, I felt like the conversation, the one <laughs> conversation I had yesterday, even if that person ends up voting for Trump and not for Biden, that journey has begun to be able to work together. Like, you know, if that person and I ever like were, you know, working together on something involving the future of the country, like we could actually have some foundation to start to do that.